Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, if you want to fast forward to the action, you might want to go right ahead. If you want some updates on what I'm doing, stick around. Those, uh, I'm about to give them to you. First off, I just went and got about 100 gallons of E85. So that should last me a little while. I was basically completely out. Um, I have taken the car several different places. Oh, look at that. Bird dive bombed me right there. Good gracious. I don't have my cover right now. So uh, I had to order a new one. The other one got all ripped up. But uh, so. As you can see, there's numbers on the car. I have been uh, racing it, or have took it to one race at least. Um, it, uh, it's been doing pretty good. It hasn't broke on me, but um, I took it to uh, Mustang Week down in Myrtle Beach. I ran a couple cars with it. I ran a um, TKM built bottom end S550 car with a Vortec. Um, that car was on 93 and it was a stick shift car and I outran him pretty good um, But uh, his car was you know just being put together. So uh, he's still lining some stuff out But uh, and also I got caught up with a GT 500 with a VMP blower on the way home Unfortunately, my GoPros were dead. This was you know later on in the Mustang week festivities um, I've got a few little clips of us riding around, but it's nothing really to make a video on um, I may include some, I may not, I'm not sure. Anyways, um, so I took the car down there, drove it all around. I probably put four or 500 miles on it that week, driving it back and forth to uh, Myrtle Beach. And also took the car to um, Pigeon Forge uh, for the rod run, the fall rod run. Uh, had a pretty good time there. Uh, drove the car around a good bit down there. Um, so much traffic, I sat in traffic for most of the time we were down there. This 
made the first fuel stop. Didn't really need fuel, but my wife has to pee every five seconds. So, and now she's in CVS getting some anti-nausea medication because she gets uh, sick just looking at a truck. Um, but there's the RX-7 back there. We still got quite a ways to go. Four hours and 53 minutes until we're there. But it's been a long, rainy drive so far. Not very fun at all. But uh, hopefully we'll make it there in one piece. did good and then I took it to the streetcar shootout in Darlington and I was having some boost control issues um, the car normally makes about 20 pounds of boost and for whatever reason the first pass it made about 16 pounds it felt really sluggish uh, very slow to spool and then I took and turned the car up on the duty and it made less boost it made 15 pounds and this was I was in a roll class so I was doing a 40 hit on and i ran a m5 and a supercharged grand sport corvette i've got some cell phone videos that i'll include in here uh right now Anyways, I couldn't get the uh, the uh, boost control like I wanted to, so I uh, checked the plugs. Everything was good. Look, the plugs looked fine. No cracks or nothing. I was thinking maybe it was breaking up or something. But I uh, popped the plugs back in and went and took it for a pass. Uh, and the car ran a 10.0 at 137 on like 12, 11 or 12 pounds of boost, which uh, is pretty strong for that little bit of boost. Um, but it should have been making it should have been making about 20 um, So I'm not sure what was going on with it. I took the wastegates apart on the car and um, I Made sure there was no leaks in there. I hooked some portable air up to it went into the test modes of the mega squirt Made sure everything was good. So after I did that um, I took it out a few times Did some draggy hits on it and the car was running good um, so I've got a, a record on the pass at the track. Let me open this hood. The pass at the track. It did a, a low six or something like that, 60 to 130 time. And on the street, I got a best of uh, 480, 60 to 130. So this thing was way down on power at the track. I mean, a, a four, a high four second, 60 to 130 on a draggy should be close to 150 miles an hour in the quarter. Um, so... 
I don't know. But anyways, I've got a four port boost control solenoid on this car and it's always been pretty touchy. Um, about 26% duty is a little bit over wastegate. Wastegate's about nine to 10 pounds. 26% will give me about uh, 12 pounds. And then I've, as I edge up, um, I've had 32% give me, um, when it's being erratic, it'll give me 22, 23 pounds or before at the track the other day it gave me 15 pounds so something's up i'm not sure what but i'm gonna switch to a three port to see if i can get a, a wider range and uh, see if that'll help my issues any at all but i've got to relearn what duty gives me what boost so i'm gonna swap that out today and uh go make some test hits on it see what boost do, or what boost duty does what and um take you guys along for the ride while i do that but I got a few new subscribers. If you're watching these videos for the first time, I appreciate it. Don't expect anything spectacular, but uh, I'm just out here having fun, trying to provide some content and maybe learn something along the way from me. I don't know. But anyways, let's get down to it. Let's get to working on this thing. All right, guys, I got the three more hooked up. Got the laptop in the car. Doing that along. Got the uh, draggy in here.
Well guys, pretty satisfied. There is the three port in all of its glory. So hopefully that thing will stay working like it's supposed to and everything. But I think it's gonna be good. We shall see. But that was a little video for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, may try to get this uh, car on like a closed loop boost control with the Mega Squirt. See if I can get it to do that. But um, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. Take care.